Hi everyone, welcome back to Yoga Song. I'm Hayan. Today I'll be sharing top five yoga poses that you can practice at home to relieve your lower back pain. This is a perfect practice for those who are sitting a lot, working with a computer all day, and having some serious back pain for whatever reasons. Yoga is not a medicine, but it will give you a chance to heal yourself. If you're ready, take a deep inhale. A long exhale. <sighs> Shall we do yoga? Let's get started. All right, my friends, today we will start with hands and knees position. So whenever you're ready, move your hands underneath your shoulders. Spread your 10 fingers wider, root down your hands, your palms, hasta bandha. Knees about here, hip distance, or maybe a little bit wider, depends on how you feel in your lower back. Keeping your core engaged, hug your belly toward your spine, and move your shoulders back, lengthen your neck. Start with cat-cow, move your chest up, drop your belly down. Exhale, move your hips down toward your knees, round your back. Breathe in, open up the chest, shoulders down, away from your ears. Exhale, hug your belly toward your spine, tuck your tailbone down, down to the earth. Breathe in, find your own range of motion in your back. Exhale, respect how you feel now. Move like caring and loving yourself as it is. Practice with self-awareness. Just see what's going on here. Once more, breathe in. And breathe out. Come back to tabletop position and move your right foot to the outside of the mat. Extend your left leg back. Keep your left foot in line with your right knee. Extend your left hand up. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, left arm underneath your right shoulder. Thread and twist. Inhale, lift your left hand up. Exhale, hug your belly toward your spine. Connect your core again. Breathe in, lots of openness here. Exhale, lots of self-care. Let's do two more. Inhale, be playful. Exhale and be mindful. Just do what you can do now here. And slowly release. This time, keep your right knee down and come up. And bend your right knee. Move your right knee to the right side. And see how you feel. Inhale, stretch your inner thigh. Exhale. Keep your left knee out, not inward. Listen to your body. Inhale. Exhale, if you want, move your arms to the side. Feel the openness in your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Just accept the tightness you might have. If you want, you can move your hip down a little bit more if it is accessible. Slowly release. Great. You can release your hands down. Find your tabletop again. Cat cow, three round here. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, hug your belly in. Lots of self love. Breathe in. You can do much slower than what I do. Exhale. 
inhale time to listen to yourself and do exactly what your body is telling you now and come back to center we can go to the other side just i want to turn my body so that i can see you <laughs> Move your left foot to the left side of mat. Extend your right leg back. Keep your right foot in line with your left knee this time. Bring your right hand up. Inhale. Exhale. Thread underneath your left shoulder. Breathe in. And breathe out. If you wish, you can set your own intention with your beautiful affirmation or mantra. It can be anything, but it should be positive. Inhale, I am safe. Exhale, I can let go. And slowly come up. Find your one knee down, kneeling down position. Bend your right knee, move your right knee to the right side. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Keep your core engaged. Move your hips down, not out. Exhale. Inhale. Find your own hand gesture that you can connect yourself, your body, your any sensation, whatever comes to you now. One more. Exhale, you can stay a little bit longer or move your hip down, down to the earth. Take a care. Take a one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. So good. Slowly release. You can bring your knees down and find your seated pose. Move your feet about hip distance or even wider and hands behind your hips. And gently move your knees to one side and the other side. Breathe in and out through the space that you feel the most. Inhale. And exhale, be simple and come back from here we will go to deer pose i will start with my left knee any knee first doesn't matter bend your left knee about 90 degree and bend your back knee also 90 degree keep both knees down to your mat as much as you can and you can stay here or you can walk your hands forward and forward until you find your own edge today. Inhale. Exhale, chest down. Notice what's going on in your hips. Exhale, let go of any tensions here. Breathe in and breathe out two more breath inhale be mindful exhale once more inhale i am safe exhale i can let go And once you're done, slowly come back to center and we can go to the other side. Maybe one side can be a little more tighter or tricky. <laughs> so just accept it as, as it is without any judgment. We all have asymmetric body, different flexibility and strength. 
just good to know what I have today in this moment. Find 90 degree in both knees and move your hands forward and forward. Every inhale, lengthen your spine. And every exhale, you can feel deeper. Breathe in. And breathe out. Stay where you can breathe and observe your body. Breathe like loving, carrying your body. Self-care is a key that you can practice in a mindful way. Take a one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Gently walk your hands back. Find your center. Once again, move your knees side to side, just like a windshield. Then we will go to pigeon pose. I don't think this is for everyone. So I will give a several options that you can play with the hip opener. You can extend your back leg, back, 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 and find your own range of motion in your left hip. If you notice your left hip is down and right hip is higher, much higher than your left hip, rather than dumping your hip down on your left, just keep your two hips in level with lifting your left hip. Take a deep inhale, find what you have. Practice without any expectation. Or what I like to do is moving my hips back and forth. Just test myself how I feel now, how tight it is. You can feel even more in your inner thigh or it can be somewhere else. We all different. We feel different in every time we practice. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Those who can go even deeper, you can bend your right knee. You can hold your right foot or ankle with your right hand. If it is too strong, let it go. Let it go, okay? There's no right and wrong in your practice. Find your own answer and do exactly what feels the best. Inhale and exhale. Move your chest down and down as much as you feel good and safe. Two more breath. Inhale. Right hip down. Exhale. Find your own variation. Exhale. Honor yourself. And release. Let's go to the other side. From deer pose. You can move your left leg back. Just find some movement as you move your hips side to side or back and forth. Once again, you might feel different your first time, first side and the second side. Deepen your inhale through the space. Exhale, let go of the tension as you breathe through the space. Take a one more breath, inhale, exhale. You can play with moving hips back and forth, or you can find another variation, bend your left knee and catch your foot or ankle and hug your heel to your hip. Breathe in. If you have a towel or yoga strap, please go ahead. Inhale. Exhale. 
Feel like you are moving your right hip back and move your left hip forward. Find some balance between both hips, but no one is perfect. Except imbalance. And just we can practice with self care and self love. And release. Wow. <laughs> you can move your knees side to side. This is one of my favorite movements whenever I have a back discomfort or tightness. So after using the computer or smartphone, if you feel some you know, stiffness in your back, just move your knees side to side. Give a little more space in your both hips, in your lower back. And then drop your knees to one side. Bend both knees. This time move your left foot through your right thigh. You can touch and move your right foot a little bit away from your hip. If you notice your right hips a little bit higher than left hip, it's okay. But try your best, move your right hip down to the earth. Or you can place a blanket underneath your hips. From here, release your hands up. Inhale, right hand down to your right foot or mat. Exhale, side stretch. Breathe in. Take a care. Breathe out. Inhale, be kind, be polite yourself. Exhale, just like the way we are polite or kind to our beloved family or friends. And come back to center. Release your hands behind your hips. You can move your right foot a little bit backward if you want. Press your knees and lift your hips up. Lift your heart. Connect your core, hug your belly in toward your spine. Take a warm breath, inhale. Exhale, release. You wanna try again? Inhale, lift your heart, stretch your hips. And exhale, you can repeat as much as you want. Breathe in, or you can stay a little bit longer if it feels so yummy. Release once you're ready. And we can go to the other side. Right foot to your left inner thigh, and you can move your left a little bit away from your hip. But if it is too intensive, you can move a little bit backward. Absolutely fine. Find your own edge today. Bring your hands up. Inhale. Exhale, side bend to your left side. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel how you feel. Inhale, exhale. Be kind, be generous. Keep your own smile. And release. Hands behind your hips. Hug your belly toward your spine. Keep your back safe. Inhale, lift your chest. If lifting hips are too much, just stay where you are, where you can breathe, where you feel good in your body. We are safe and we can let go. Stay or release. Find whatever feels the best here. And once you're done, slowly release. Again, move your two feet close and knees wider. Just like a butterfly, you can move your knees up and down. Maybe your knees much higher than mine. Absolutely okay. Just accept your own range of motion in your hips. Take a deep inhale, knees together. Exhale, knees wider. Today you can stay here 
or move your chest forward bit by bit practice by practice find whatever makes you feel good yes we are safe we can surrender here next inhale gently release bring your knees together and find your hands and knees position just like what we started in the beginning and move your hips you can circle your hips or you can draw a line <laughs> Any shape will be great to lose, to soften your body, especially your back and hips. Or you can repeat cat cow if it feels good. find downward facing dog for the last I cannot believe <laughs> deep inhale this is our first down dog in this class exhale move your hips back bend your knees generously and move your hips back 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 find some stretch in your back without forcing or pushing yourself you can bend both the knees the chest and move your hips back and breathe into the space that you are creating now for yourself and gently move your knees down find your child pose take a deep inhale and elongate your exhale once more inhale and let go exhale feel free to pause this video and stay in your child pose or you can rest in shavasana or you can join me by some comfortable seated pose for yourself move your shoulders down away from your ears wherever you are whatever you choose honor your practice honor your body honor your presence take a deep inhale long cleansing exhale bring your hands toward your heart take a moment to appreciate your practice your well-being your inner wisdom within you if you have any intention that you want to set for the rest of the day please go ahead And once you're ready slowly open your eyes thanks for your practice today let me know how you feel after practice in the comments below every single comment means a lot to me and if you haven't yet remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you can practice together with me and with other people in this world in this tough situation but we can keep safe strong and positive Thanks again. Take special care of yourself. Namaste.